There is a much larger secret being kept from the American people and the world regarding the implantable microchip technology. We are all now aware of the implantable RFID microchips, which are public knowledge and official law soon, to be mandatorily forced upon all of humanity. However there yet lays a deeper secret regarding these implantable microchips, in that the standard RFID microchip is not the only implantable microchip soon, to be forced upon humanity. There currently is advanced cybernetics technology being experimented on human beings, which allows for technological bypassing of the human brain, essentially enabling remote control of human beings via computer. They've already mapped out basic functions of the brain-like movement, and are able to artificially mimic the electrical charges via implanted electrodes, to cause involuntary movement along any directed path, in addition to even more horrifying aspects of this technology. Some are familiar with brain-computer interface technology allowing some humans to communicate via computer, or to move artificial limbs via thought. However we are not told that this is a two-way street and the technology can be used not only in the direction of brain to computer, but also from computer to brain. Cybernetic implantable nanomicrochips can technologically bypass the human brain, thus providing the ultimate neutralization tool. Over the coming decades we will see humans getting cybernetic augmentation and brain-computer interfaces that will enable them to connect to the Internet via thought. Currently there are no safeguard for individuals already connected to the system and no defense against being hacked and remotely controlled by outside rogue factions. The Bible refers to the cybernetic brain microchips as the mark in the forehead, while the RFID chip is referred to as the mark in the hand. Speak out against the regime and this technology can be used to eliminate you without you ever knowing what happened and there being no smoking gun, to point to the government. Sheeple called the RFID microchip a theory a decade ago, well now it is official law. They call they come and gun grab a theory, however we all know better after all we are seeing in these perilous times. The full spectrum of this technology is beyond horrifying in its capabilities, to eliminate people the regime deems troublesome humanity can't afford to allow this tech to reach full implementation. It would be like playing a video game to them however the real life human would be you. Humanity has reached the singularity and all human beings will be plugged into a supercomputing system similar to the Skynet system depicted in Terminator. First we need to realize that this technology is currently being used and is planned for all of humanity and begin to overstand the total implications of how this technology can devastate humanity if left in the wrong hands. Then we must gather up all the human lab rats currently under experimentation and evaluate whether the technology has been used for good or evil, considering it is being used to create real-life zombies and assassins, we all know the answer to that question. Our main focus should be to make sure that this technology comes under public regulation because currently the military-industrial complex has thousands and thousands of cyborg sleeper agents all around the world that don't know they were ever cybernetically augmented. So at a moment's notice they can be activated and turn into remote control drones for various missions. This creates problems for society the likes of which humanity has never seen before and is currently unable to handle. Imagine if someone in the covert agencies thought it would be funny to have thousands of people all across the world start eating other human beings, how could any of the current social structures respond to this? People wouldn't even realize that this is simply advanced technology and all society would fall apart. There must be a citizen initiative to bring awareness of this technology and regulations put in place to prevent people from being hacked any further. Currently. The cybernetics radio frequencies used by the military-industrial complex fall within the same ranges of the commercial industry, thus allowing people to feel other forms of technology. This is an accidental indicator that the covert agencies are currently working to correct, but until they do, this is a godsend warning to those already cybernetically microchip telling them that somebody put technology into their heads. Whatever the brain controls can be technologically bypassed via computer creating real-life drone human beings. The entirety of humanity will see this sooner or later no matter how much some may deny it now. Singularity is the future and we are humanity's resistance and the fate and direction of the singularity is in our hands, 
to determine whether it will be used for good or evil. As long as this technology remains unknown and unregulated the doors for misuse are left wide open and humans will continue to be hacked all across their globe. We must form a citizen's intelligence network of sharing info and learning to bring about safeguards for cybernetic RFID brain microchips or else the ramifications of cybernetics will be beyond Orwellian. Let not these words fall upon deaf ears, but see what the regime has planned beyond the horizon, to subjugate all of humanity. We must unite all the strength in our collective being to push back and resist the looming Orwellian tyranny. Good skill and Godspeed. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.